Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a region chart in Excel. Now this is an example of the eventual output that you can use your region chart and then I basically took a snapshot of the region chart and put it into a PowerPoint. But you can also have this shown in Excel of course. But I just want to kind of show you the power of uh, using this particular feature in Excel. It's called Power Map and seeing how you can apply it. So let's say that I put this into a slideshow mode. And you can see that you know this is something that we could put into a PowerPoint. This is the map of the United States um, that looks at the division or this, the categorization of the different uh, governor party affiliations, the governors of the 50 states. Are they Democratic? Are they independent, like in Alaska, or the Republican? And this is a, an output that came out of the Excel Power Maps feature. And this is another output that comes out of there where we can look at the state population. Now these are still the, showing the uh, party affiliation of the governors, but these lines show the population uh, comparative to the other states. So you can see California, the line is pretty long, so it has a large population. The th same with Texas and Florida. And the third example here kind of shows you a more animated view. So if I go into the third example here, you can see that uh, there's actually kind of a movie playing. And basically what it does is it takes that flat view and turns it into kind of this globe view and kind of animates it. And so this actually was all done in Excel using the Power Map feature. So let me show you how we can do this. Let me go into Excel and show you what this comes from. So here I am in Excel. And uh, what I've just showed you in PowerPoint, uh, those outputs came from uh, this table. And this is a three column table. We have our states, we have our governor party affiliations, we have the estimated population of the states. And basically, we have to use the Power Map feature. It's part of the Power BI uh, capabilities in Excel. And you would have to download that. This is in Excel 2013. Basically, you would have to download that. If it's not available, you would download a Power Map from the Microsoft site and install it and enable it. And I've already enabled it. And I have under the Insert tab uh, this Power Map group. And let me go ahead and click on the Launch the Power Map. And you'll see the images that I just showed. So basically, we have our tour. Uh, this is just the way that it's presented in Power Map. So I'm going to launch Power Map. You can see now I have the, the map. So I basically have two slides. So this is kind of very similar to PowerPoint. You have your uh, slides here. In this case, these are called scenes. And then you have your main window here that shows the output uh, in more detail. And you have a, a pane here which shows you some configuration options uh, as well as the uh, home ribbon up here. So you can see this is the first part where I show the region map. This is called a region map um, or the, the region feature here. And the second part, uh, this basically is just a uh, stacked column chart. And so uh, basically what these links indicate the population of the, the state. And so if we hover over it, you can see if I hover over it, it gives me the data that's coming from the table. And in the, in this map, there's all these configurations. So as you remember from the third slide, there was some animation. If I click play, basically what happens is it looks at this scene and any of the configurations that go on with that scene, and then it goes and transitions to that scene. And there's, if you notice, there are um, transitions that we can do. So if I look at these transition to these effects, there are transitions we can do from from scene to scene. So let me go ahead and click play and show you an example of what this one shows. So it looks like it's kind of doing a little circle and it's going to go ahead and turn into a globe and zoom into the United States a little bit. These region features will disappear and now the bars will come up and it's going to kind of pan over or rotate over a little bit. So this is basically playing uh, that set of scenes. So let me show you how we can create this in Power Map. So here I have a new workbook and I basically copied over the table, the three column table here of the 50 states and the governor party affiliation and the population of those states. And then I would go into the insert tab and click on the maps. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and launch Power Map. And it's going to come up with the Power Map window. And Power Map shows up and basically what it says is it needs data to work with. Select the table or range in Excel and click uh, add data to Power Map. So I'm going to go back into me, my Excel here and go ahead and do, click on anywhere in the table here. Click on Power Map and I'm going to add uh, click add selected data to Power Map. So once that's done, uh, Power Map will show 
the data here. And so I've started here first with this globe. And so let me go ahead and replicate what I showed first. And what I'm going to do instead of having uh, the globe is I want to have it as a flat map. So under the map group here, I'm going to click on flat map. And so basically it's going to bring out the flat map. Let me, let me go ahead and move it over a bit. Oops, not that one. Let me go ahead and move it over a bit here to the middle so I can see Hawaii. Or maybe just reduce the size here, right? So I can see Hawaii here and uh, Alaska here. And so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and choose the geography. So I'm going to, by default, it already chose a state. It, it looks like it's picked up the states uh, for here for this particular map. And that's fine. I want to have the ge geography map level at the state level. So that's where it picked it up. So Excel was, kind of, was a little bit smart enough to figure out that this is where it would map to. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And the next thing we want to do is now kind of uh, populate the imagery of the map to, to categorize things. And so what I want to do is I want to categorize it by the governor party affiliation. So red for Republican, blue for Democrat, and yellow for the independent. And incidentally, um, you can see here that uh, Excel was smart enough to pick up the map by state, by state province. It shows it's a one. If I click on this, it would give you a little window that tells you that Excel was able to plot the location. So sometimes if you get the something that's less than 100%, you can click on that and you can figure out where it's having problems. But uh, we get 100% here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this governor party affiliation down to the category because that's what I want to define. I don't really, I'm not, I'm not concerned about the height or anything that looks at the more finer details of the numbers. I just want to have it uh, look at a category and kind of categorize it up by United States. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this and kind of drag it down to this category field. And once I do that, it has selected, or it's given me, by default, it's given me this height. And I don't want this height. Uh, these, are the these are the visualizations that, that kind of sprout from the ground up and, and go up to the sky. So to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like, let me tilt it a little bit. And this is what it looks like. And this is not what we want for our first one. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down so it makes it a little bit flatter. All right? And so what I really want is I want this region. I, I want to change the visualization to region. So what it's going to do is it's going to color in the boundaries of the states here. So you can see that it's colored it in already kind of nicely. And so what I'm going to do now is I don't want these default colors. I don't want this purple and blue and yellow. I want something else, uh, the reds for the Republicans, blue for the Democrats. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my settings here. And I want to change my layer options. So we see here what our lay options, Democratic has been defaulted to blue. I think that blue looks okay. So let me change the Republican one, or the independent is yellow. This is kind of like an orangish yellow. Let me change that to a yellow. And then the Republican categorization, let me go ahead and click on that. That should be red, red for Republican. So this kind of gives us an idea of the categorization or the separation of the states between the Republicans and the Democrats and the Independents. You can see Hawaii is down here, uh, blue for the Democrats. And so that gives us the first option. And if I wanted to put some notation here, I can actually do that. Uh, let me see, let me put in the uh, text box. Well, actually the legend, probably the legend is probably best. It kind of shows me the separation of the different layers. So I can kind of put that here. And maybe I can call this instead of having it called layer one. I can call it, let me go and click on the pencil icon here so I can edit it. We can call this uh, party party affiliation. Or maybe more specifically, governor. Governor party affiliation. All right, press Enter. You can see that shows up here. Maybe I'm going to put it down. Maybe I don't need it that large. And I'm going to put it over here. Huh. Let me put it over here. And that was a little bit big. Let me go ahead and kind of move this over a little bit. Maybe I can see the others. Let me close this first. See how it looks. Okay, so that looks okay. Let me bring back the layer pane here. And what we can do here now is we can do a screen capture. Okay, I can go ahead and I don't need any external tools to do a screen capture. It has a little screen capture icon here. I can click on that. It's put it onto the clipboard. Let me go into PowerPoint. Since I click the screen capture, it put it on the clipboard. I can just click on paste and it will put it in there. So we can see here that we've got our map. 
it's kind of nicely laid out the boundaries here and let me go ahead and show you the, the other example where we have the bars going up showing the population so now we're back into power map and what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a, another scene so this is scene what I'm gonna do is I clicked on here I go, go ahead and click add scene and it's basically gonna copy the scene from the last one and what I can do here is just make changes to the scene now so I'll go ahead and cl click on that to to delete that and what I want to do now is I want to turn this into uh, that population map. So let me go ahead and go under the field list here. Now instead of having the party affiliation here, let me go ahead and uh, scroll down a little bit. Let me go ahead and remove that. So maybe we'll just keep the governor party affiliation there. And what I want to do here is I want to drag population into this field here. So let me go ahead and drag population into the values field. And what it's done, it looks like it hasn't really done anything because we still have this uh, region visualization selected. What we want to do is we want to have the stack column selected. So if, after I select on that, you notice then now we have kind of have our little lines here. And also I don't want this flat map and I want to have it as a globe. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect or uh, toggle the flat map option command here. So I'll click on that and now it's kind of turned into a globe and I've got a better view of it. And so maybe I wanted to change this a little bit and maybe uh, zoom in a little bit and maybe tilt it a little bit because uh, I can get the better perspective of the bars. So let me go ahead and tilt it a little bit so I can get a little bit more perspective. Maybe I'll move it down a little bit here. Uh, eventually when I do a snapshot, these uh, navigation uh, options here will disappear. But let me go ahead and tilt it a little bit more. Maybe I'll move that over here. And you not only know, now you notice it seems to have gotten a little bit more. Let me go ahead increase the size here. No, that didn't work. So let me go ahead and do that. So you notice that there's a lot of fine tuning that you would have to do to get th things situated where you want it to be. And just to do a check, you can you notice if you hover over any one of these bars, you would get the data. So the population, California, about 39 million, Democratic governor pop affiliation. If you hover over other bars, you'll see the same. It gives you the same kind of data, uh, of course, specific to that state. And if I wanted to take a snapshot of this, I can go ahead and click on Capture Screen. That puts it onto clipboard. Let me go into PowerPoint. So I'm in PowerPoint. I'll click on my second slide, and I'll click Paste and it will paste the image from the second uh, scene. So uh, I forgot to add another legend here, but that's okay. Th that's something that you can do, uh, same as before, uh, just adding the legend there. Let me go ahead and go back into Excel and show you the feature now where we can put a little bit of uh, animation into it. So here we're back in uh, Excel Power Map. Let me go ahead and go to the first scene here of our tour and I'm gonna go and click this gear icon so this does the settings and this is where it looks at the scene uh, this scene tells you how long it's gonna stay at the scene so this is the first scene so it'll probably it'll stay at the scene for uh, six seconds that's probably a little bit long I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click that down to four seconds it'll stay at the scene for four seconds and this effect scene is the transition between scenes and if you hover over it it'll tell you uh, what it does how, this is three seconds to move to this scene from a previous scene this doesn't really apply because there is no previous scene because it's the first scene. Where it really applies is in this scene. So if I click on here, uh, this is the scene duration, how long it will stay in this scene. Since this is the last scene, it doesn't really matter, right? So I'm not going to do too much to change this one because this is not like the third, this is not, there's no scene after this. So it doesn't really affect this because it's the last one. But where it does come into play is this effects option. So this is the transition time it takes to move from uh, scene one to scene two, about three seconds. And do we want to have an effect? So currently it doesn't have an effect. Let me show you an example where it has no effect and where an example where it does have an effect. And let's go ahead and play this. So let, let me go ahead and click on play. Now it's going to stay on this map for uh, four seconds, two, three, four, and then turns into a globe. And there's no effect here, but basically it turned into the last scene where we have our columns sh show up. So let me go ahead and go back and show you what happens when we add an effect to this. So let's add some, nothing too, nothing too crazy. We'll add a, maybe a circle effect. And it's going to circle around. And let me go ahead and click play again. And now we have our scene with the different states. They have about four seconds here. Then it's going to turn into a globe. And now it's going to fly over. It changed that. It flew, it's going to fly over kind of a little bit. And so you can see that it's uh, done a little bit of a effect there. Now, some of them get a little bit uh, intense. So let me go ahead and show you another one. Let's show uh, Rotate Globe. Maybe I'll make this one a little fast so you can see 
and how it works. So there's a lot of different options you can play with. Um, of course, you can get a little bit excited and, and put a lot of options, effects, and transitions there. But of course, you have to be kind of uh, aware of what your audience expects. But let me show you what uh, this effect does. So go ahead and click play. So we have our four seconds of uh, the different categories here. It's going to turn into a globe. Now it's going to do that uh, effect of rotating. You see that it's rotated. And we have our uh, different population sizes there. Now even after this ends, you can actually move it. So I can actually click on the globe and move it around. So it gives me the option to do that. I can still hover over it. And it'll give me the different attributes of the states. As you can see here, there's a lot you can do with Power Map. This is just an overview of some of the capabilities. But if you have data that is useful, that you can map it out into something uh, such as countries or states or even zip codes. This, this goes down to the level of zip codes within the United States. Uh, I don't know about other countries. But you can, you can go by country to country and do some really neat visualization uh, using just Excel. And it links up uh, to the mapping function of Bing. And so it's really nice if you want to kind of use it by itself in Excel, or you can take it and copy and paste it into PowerPoint. So in addition to getting the uh, screen captures into the PowerPoint, you might wonder, uh, after I played this tour, you know, how do I get that particular animation into PowerPoint? Basically, you do the create video. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to give you the options if you want to present it in uh, 1080, 720, uh, or 360. So basically, more high quality, of course, is the top ones. But for this particular video, I'm just going to go ahead and select the smaller video. And I'll go ahead and click Create. So what it's going to do is it's going to create an MP4 video. And basically, you can just browse for which photo you want it to do. And once I click on Save, it's going to go through that process of creating it. So you'll get this video where it says it's creating the video. It might take some time depending on the video. So since this is the 360 uh, one, it's not going to take too long. So once it does that, it's going to probably finish with it. And I'll go ahead and click Open. And it's going to open that particular MP4. So it's opened up the MP4 video in the media player. So the, whatever default media player that you have that opens up MP4s. And you notice now it's playing that particular video. And what I can do now is I can take that particular file and put it into PowerPoint. So let me go ahead and insert video. I'm on the Insert tab. Go to Video and go, select Video from my PC. So here's my video. I'll go ahead and select on that and click Insert. And now it's put the video in. So, so now since I put the video in, and it is a video you can see now it's selected it has these playback features and so what I'm going to do is if I put this into a slideshow I want to have it automatically play when I get to the slide so I'm going to go ahead once I click on playback go ahead and select this to say automatic and so once I put this into a slideshow view let me go ahead and go click on that and just put this into a slideshow view you can see if I just go ahead and click to go to the next slide and click to go to the next slide once I get to this slide it's going to play automatically. And you see now we have our flat image turn into a globe. And it's going to rotate and give me this option of having those uh, bars show up. And you see if I hover over it, you can see that it's playing. So that's how we can put that particular uh, movie from Power Map into PowerPoint. Uh, basically, we have to save it first and then put it in there. So we're back here into Excel Power Map. You can see that there is a lot of uh, cool features that it enables you to put uh, your data through. So if your data has any type of geographic type of component into it, country, state, zip code, you can put it into Power Map and make that visualization more exciting and put it into kind of a an effect not only as a static uh, view, but you can also put it into kind of more of an animated view. So there you have it. There is creating a region chart. Uh, I actually went a little bit further for this particular video. Instead of create, in addition to creating the region chart, we have some animation and, and stuff. But I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.